spring is so close, right around the corner, and many people use this change in season as motivation to clean out closets and garages. It's also a great time to go through our kitchens and clean out our cupboards. It's true, clean them all off, clean them out. Mm -hmm. But what do you keep and then what do you toss? So here with more is nutrition expert Ashley Pettit. And so welcome back, it's good to see you. Hi, good to see you too. There, we, we were saying how many things you have in your, oh, I know. your cupboard that you are like, I have no idea that that's expired and, and here's still the using thing, it. Then you go, so oh, I could still use that, but oh, yeah. you can't. No, you really, really can't. And I, we were just talking too about, you know, smelling things and appearance, but those can also be deceiving. So oh. when in doubt, it's good to just have a gauge on how long you're supposed to keep things. Right. But spring cleaning too, it's hard to remember how long everything lasts. I even have a cheat sheet constantly and I'm like, wait, how long am I supposed to have this in my cabinet? Yeah, you have to label it with a Sharpie Absolutely. or whatever. That's what you have to do. Throw this out and blah, blah, blah. Yes. So I brought examples of that, but mm -hmm. I'm starting with superfood add-ins because a lot of us have chia seeds, hemp hearts, yeah. flax seeds, all those things, and we don't even know how long those last, and you want to keep the nutrients strong in those. So chia seeds can be in a cool, dry place. That's the other thing. Our pantries need to be cool and dry. In Chicago, we get humid here. Uh -huh. So you need to monitor that, too. And those oh, will wow. smell rancid, like you said, your grandmother yeah. says that word, rancid. So two-plus years for chia seeds. We okay. keep these in the fridge. Yes, and you can, okay. and that's like 12 months usually okay. in the refrigerator and I know okay. it sounds weird because in the refrigerator you think it lasts longer right. um, but when they're refrigerated it starts to kill the nutrients oh, so in because super it's too cold okay yes and that's hemp parts as well and flax seeds too okay but if yeah. you buy whole flax seeds and you ground them yourself you can keep them, you can keep them for two okay. to three years in the pantry and then grind them on the spot when you need them mm -hmm. just don't grind them and keep yeah. them apart okay. the good thing is these packages a lot of them now oops I'm not gonna they all come with a date so you could just keep them in the packaging Very true. and then you're better however with. plastic lasts a shorter time than glass. So I brought some sealed containers to show people oh. how I keep my grains in my house. So you do want to toss white flour products, white rices, white pastas, all those things. Replace them with whole grains, but also realize that whole grains last about six months in a cool, dry place. Mm. But you can put them in the refrigerator for a year, and I know people are like, am I really going to put dry quinoa in my refrigerator? If it's up to you and you're on a budget and you want to keep things lasting long, then that's what you need to do. Yeah. But don't put them in the refrigerator in plastic. Okay. Put them in an airtight sealed glass container and then you're really strong for that year. Got it. And again, sprouted grains last a shorter time, so do smell them to make sure that they haven't gone. And they're sprouted, that means they have all the nutrients in them that you possibly need. Oh. So okay. the more nutrients, the shorter the shelf life. Right, that makes it. sense. Now, oil is one <laughs> that we were talking about before we came on. You, I mean, this is the thing. I'm always feeling like, mm, it smells rancid, and you just throw it out. I have no idea what that means. Yeah. So can we can we figure this out? Yes. So I mentioned with the grains, you know, the, the more nutrients in an oil, which means the least processed it is, the longer it lasts, which is the opposite. It's crazy. So extra virgin olive oil is the least processed version of olive oil. Mm -hmm. So extra virgin, least processed. You can think of it that way. This lasts two to three years. Oh, okay. And this is just in the cupboard. Okay. No refrigeration, okay. no anything. However, what you can look for is if it starts to get very cloudy. Cloudy is bacteria, things mm. building up. I know. Hen hence yeah. the rancid smell. Okay. But avocado oil and hemp oil, which are different types of fat, monounsaturated fats, like olive oil, however, the way they're processed, they last only six to eight months. Okay, got it. So you gotta have your cheat sheet ready in your house. And mm -hmm. I say avoid expiration dates on this and pay attention, because expiration dates vary on how humid and how dry your mm -hmm. place is. Like, mm -hmm. I can tell my apartment is very humid. Um, then flax oils also. Flax oil I don't have here today, but very common. That's two to three months. Mm. Whoa, that's really quick. But you'll notice they're actually sold in smaller containers. Yes, which I think is sense. not is, is definitely on purpose. So vinegar is something. So I always keep raw unfiltered vinegars just because they're healthier for you. So apple cider vinegar should be a staple in your cabinet this spring. But you have to recognize too, raw unfiltered means that there's no protection in here. There's no preservatives or no anything. You can see that like kombucha yep. tea. Yeah. You can see bottom. that natural thing at the bottom. They do say that vinegars, and this does not need to be refrigerated, common misconception too, that you should filter, you should refrigerate anything unfiltered, but no. But this lasts about up to a year, however, their dates range to six years. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, so you have to it, make the decision use yourself. It. And for apple cider vinegar, it does have that sweet but vinegar, bitter yeah. kind of taste. So you really have to have a keen oh my palate goodness. to yeah. notice okay. that. So, so when, it, in when, doubt, when in doubt, throw it out. When in doubt, We're throw running it out. out of time, Ashley, yes. so real quickly, herbs. tell us the rest. So whole herbs, four years, crushed or ground, two to three years, 
and dried one to three years. Oh, Again, I got a clean house. Everybody avoids their thing. I take them out if they're in, if I buy them in bulk and I put them in mason jars that are of different sizes to seal them. Okay. Like real quick, the flower. Flowers. <laughs> Nobody really understands flowers. One to three months, and you're never going to use an entire flower thing unless you're a baker in one to three months. Okay. So you can refrigerate it to make them last for two to six months. So okay. I highly recommend refrigerating, but take it out of the plastic because you can't bend this over and clip it. It won't put last. Put it in the glass. Put it in the glass, put it in the refrigerator. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, I got some work to do when I go home. So do I. If you need more information, <laughs> log on to ashleypettitliving.com.